force is strong with me. <laughs> it's amazing how far technology has come along, isn't it? It's brilliant. So what we have here is a device called WePoint by a company called So We Go. So I was really excited about this project that was available for crowdfunding on Kickstarter. I even actually made a video about it, but unfortunately it didn't meet the goal. So um, unfortunately I was not able to get it, but uh, the company So We Go actually regularly contact me through email and they kindly sent me a sample to review this. And I think I'm probably the only person who's gonna review this on YouTube to start with that is uh, but what's really interesting about this device is not only is it supposed to use as a mouse for your pc but it could actually be used for scrolling through your smartphone or your ipad or it looks like your smart tv and a vr headset as well so i'm really really excited about this and see how it could work so let's get into the unboxing so here it goes let's open that box and we've got a pouch here, but before we get into that, this is a, uh, right, so this is a standard wireless charger that I have for two other devices that I already have. The diagram of what it can be used. That's interesting, so all the manuals. So it looks rather complicated at this stage, but um, I'll actually go through that. This is the actual page, how to use it. All right, so the moment of truth, let's see what's inside. Okay, oh, wow, so we got two of these uh, things. These are actually uh, for adjusting for the size of your finger. You can see here that you can actually take it out and then change it with these to the preference of the thickness of your finger. Okay, so this one works pretty well with me, so I'm going to use this one. The main device is here, so this it says so we go on it and i believe this comes off based on my understanding this is where you charge this is a charge slot and i believe this is power on off and the connection button uh, pretty obvious isn't it and um, strap this reminds me of a much thinner version of apple watch strap that you could readjust and i believe this is some sort of like a control sensor that is wired up to the main device isn't it and uh, and so on so pretty straightforward i believe this will somehow come off which i will find out anyway oh here it goes and you can see that it's charging and also you, you move your finger to be able to control this device so here we have it on my wrist uh it looks kind of cool it kind of looks like my smartwatch. um so a lot of people will say hey what's that device but anyway so we've got this really cool um Thing that i like actually that's a feature so the way how you actually uh, transform this to make it become like a mouse control device is you pull it out and then you actually make it um, parallel uh, to the size of your palm um, and um, okay so in line with it that's how i understand it and make sure that this doesn't really um i think it's sort of that way anyway but this doesn't interrupt the signal so what you need to do is you take out the second device um, from here and then uh, you place it around here okay so my understanding is that um, i think this should be more like here so this will actually be sending signal to the main uh, device and this one is the two buttons you can press here and there, but you can also adjust that so that your thumb could easily press. So I think that's pretty much it for my end. Okay, and um, if I click on the Bluetooth, hopefully, oh, here it is. So we got the, so we go there and um, pair the device. And let's see if the magic is happening. Okay, so it's paired. You can see the um, pointer here moving around based on my finger movement. So let's see if I could go to the social media, shall we? So you basically press these two. This is the back or the uh, setting button and that's the main. Um, so consider this to be the left button of the mouse and the right button of the mouse, okay? Um, so let's go to the YouTube. This is so cool. 
and then if I were to go to the um, profile, uh, my channel, and here it is, my channel has been popped up, so I could check on my video. And um, yeah, you, I could actually scroll. So I believe you can actually change it to the um, gesture control button by pressing this button for more than uh, three seconds. So let's try that. Okay, so here it is, the gesture control. That's quite cool, isn't it? I'm glad I actually gone through the um, gesture control um, all the tutorials in as well. So that's just to give you an idea how you can control this brilliant device, okay? All right, so let's add this uh, so we go onto my PC. So let's turn on the switch um, and see, oh, here it is. The so we go actually pops up. So let's click on that. Connecting, it's all ready to go. Oh, here it is, so it's moving now. So based on my finger movement, you can see that the cursor is moving and the way how you command it to change it is you go here and there. So let's try to go to the Internet Explorer, shall we? So if I want to search something and then let's go to LGP Tech, uh, YouTube. It's like it kind of feels like your brain is commanding it rather than your finger. OK, so let's stop that video and let's go to videos. And you can see all my um, videos uploaded so far. So I guess I, I'll just change it to the gesture control mode. So we're in a gesture control mode now. So if I were to press up and down, that's how you actually control it. That's so cool, isn't it? Um, both gesture control and cursor mode. Um, it's just brilliant. So that's how it works. <laughs> Obviously, I need a bit of a training, but this device is amazing. Right, so I'm trying to connect my uh, Wii point to the smart TV that we have, but this TV is actually a bit dated, isn't it? Because the device connector uh, has only limited amount of connection that you can have. There's no uh, Bluetooth option whatsoever for this smart TV. So basically, I connected the uh, Wii point to my laptop and the laptop is now connected to the smart tv through hdmi cable so you can see based on my finger movement the cursor is moving that is amazing people that is just truly amazing it kind of feels like i'm not really moving my finger but i'm actually using my brain to move the cursor and it kind of feels like i'm using my force just like jedi the force is strong with this one <laughs> Anyway, that's amazing. So why don't we just try AutoCAD since we're actually on, on, on this one. Okay, so we're opening up the CAD and um, yeah, open uh, standard CAD. So we've got a plain CAD uh, screen here. Um, so based on my movement of my finger, um, let's draw a line, shall we? Okay, so we've got a line ready and let's draw a line. Okay, that is cool. A straight line there, and a straight line there, and there, and there. And we all know that basically on CAD, um, what is very important to use uh, is to zoom in, zoom out. So let's try that out, shall we? You can zoom in, zoom out by changing it to the gesture control option yeah so i just thought it would be quite worth to show you how this works so initially when i received the wii point from so we go i was a bit skeptical actually I, don't, I wasn't sure whether it's going to work or not but i spent a bit of time to move my finger here there and, and it does work um, on my smartphone and my laptop as you have seen um, from my video and I'm really excited actually I do want to try out a bit more along with time to see whether I can explore it on my AutoCAD as well so that I could be more hands-free and so on but um, just like a, a mouse with a ball I don't know whether you have any of these mouse uh, initially when you receive it you're trying to move it like a conventional mouse but you realize it's actually the ball that moves the cursor and you need a bit of a time to train yourself 
with your brain and so on. This is exactly how it is. But this one, as you can see, is more uh, portable, more attractive, slim, very clever design. Whoever came up with this is a very clever person, a genius. And um, I think we need more of these sort of technology. And in fact, visually, it looks really cool as well. It's, it's like a beginning stage of Iron Man. Um, but yeah, it's visually pleasing, it works. And um, I'm still amazed that this didn't reach the uh, Kickstarter goal. Uh, maybe there's another chance that you can receive it. I'm sure you can actually get one for yourself if you're really interested from the Sowego website from the link down below. Um, but I hope this video demonstrated how this device works. And I'm sure there's a lot of things that you could explore more that I haven't covered. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your queries and etc. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.